Yes, you're live on Uganda and news updates for all the latest news and latest information. So, General Yoweri Tibwabura Museveni attacks the European Parliament. And many thanks to you wherever you're watching and from. Consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. Yes, Ugandan President General Yoweri Tibwabura Museveni has asked Europe to stop sending him young girls to lecture him on human rights and governance and instead invest in the country if indeed they want to engage in the affairs and welfare of Ugandans. Speaking at the second Uganda-EU business summit in Kampala, Museveni wondered why European investments in Uganda and Africa have remained low compared to Chinese and Indian projects, in spite of the advantages like languages and other aspects shared. So this is how he noted it. How many factories do we have in Uganda now? How many are owned by the Chinese? How many are owned by the Indians? And how how many are owned by the Ugandans? And how about our relatives, the Europeans, the ones uh, whose language I speak? I don't speak Chinese, but the Indians and the Chinese have been investing here. I hear they tell their companies that you go to Africa and if you see a profit making enterprise, come back, we shall give you the money you go and invest you will pay slowly and um, also why can't Europe do this instead of doing uh, instead of doing this they come to give me lectures I don't know about this about that I look at young girls giving me lectures uh, you young uh, you young people please stop it but Africans are very polite people I always find nice words and the young girls go away but it is not in order says um, Geno Yoweli Tipabura Museveni so Museveni's outburst uh, comes against continued uh, squambles between Uganda and the European over the construction of the East African crude oil pipeline the EOP uh, which uh, the EU wants to be halted over environmental concerns. Museveni further said as the population of Africa overtakes that of India and soon that of China. It is uh, it is the best time for Europe to think of investing in the continent. Yes, really, the European companies and governments and political groups and the things, uh, tanks, if they are, uh, uh, they are, this is the moment. Africa is easy for you. We share a lot in common language, legal systems, some of the concepts of social organization. It should really be so much easier for you to work with us than when I meet the Chinese delegation. I need to listen carefully because they don't speak English well. It is quite something but uh, we do very good businesses. Uh, so why not the Europeans? You understand? So currently, Uganda exports goods to Europe under the everything but arms uh, arrangement which is duty free and quota free initiative for Uganda and other uh, low developed countries. Kenya was removed from the list of beneficiaries after it attained middle income status. Yes, many thanks to you wherever you've been watching and from this is Uganda News Updates. Consider subscribing for all the latest news.